to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, I'm a festival content creator. I create YouTube videos all about different festivals. My channel is pretty much an electric forest slash bass nectar channel because I have been to electric forest five times. I'm going for my sixth this year, so I know the most about electric forest for the rest of the year i attend a bunch of other events but mainly bay sector events so if you're interested in learning more about festivals how to prepare tips advice vlogs definitely subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload anyway this is my next video in the electric forest week series since they made the announcement about the ticket sales and tons of 2020 editions. I realized that it is way too much to be put all in one video and I could sprinkle it out over the course of the next few months but I decided I'm just gonna do it all now so you guys feel completely prepared for the ticket on sale and to give every subject the attention that it deserves instead of rushing through it so these are gonna be a lot more detailed. So this first video is dedicated to all the GA camping options and the add-ons for GA. I'm gonna briefly touch on group camping, but I will later be doing a video completely in depth on group camping. Definitely subscribe if you want all of the details on group camping, because I have done it the past two years, so I can answer all of your questions. When I'm talking about all the different options, you should know that I refer to your ticket as like a ticket, a wristband or camping option. Technically how you get in is with your wristband, so it's like synonymous with ticket, and then also every single wristband comes with camping. There's no specific add-ons for camping. When you get your wristband, you're automatically allowed to camp, so it's all kind of interchangeable. When I talk about prices, I'm gonna be talking about prices before fees. Expect to pay anywhere from like 50 or more more for the fees after the ticketing prices. Vibe with Aid did a whole video all about the camping options and she went through like every single detail. I'm gonna be trying to talk more about like the pros and cons. I definitely go into detail as well, but she goes into every single detail. So you should check out her video as well. Something that's gone completely under the radar in my opinion, like I know that my friends group chat hasn't even mentioned this, but the map has changed this year and there are a couple new camping options. So the most common wristband option is the GA wristband. So this gets you general admission, standard access to the festival and to the standard camping grounds. This is $375 plus fees if you are buying on the general on sale. So unless you have loyalty, this is the price. Like I said, this comes with complimentary camping. The camping at Electric Forest is actually really nice compared to some other camping stuff that I've been to. It doesn't say on the site anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's a 10 foot by 30 foot camping space, which gives you enough room width wise for pretty much one car. You also have enough room to put an easy up behind your car and then a tent at the end of your campsite. It's already amazing enough that they give you camping in combination with your ticket because so many festivals charge you to camp. They also include car camping in this standard ticket, which is amazing. So many festivals, that's another add on to camp next to your car. When you purchase this wristband, you get this standard entry, which is Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. It's like right at midnight between the two days. You can purchase a Wednesday arrival pass or a Tuesday arrival pass with the standard GA, but I'm gonna get more into that later. This is also what you purchase if you want tent only camping. There's no separate ticket for tent only. You just will walk over to the tent only area and they'll place you there. Think of it as your reward for being environmentally conscious and for having one less car that they have to worry about on the road getting in and out of the festival. This is right by the entrance next to the Ferris wheel. General admission sold out in five hours last year, so be ready for getting on buying your ticket as soon as possible. GA is an amazing option. I've done GA every single year the past five years and I've really never thought about going to VIP even for a minute until this year. This is where all the fun goes down like this is where the party's at because the RVs are located here. The main street where most of the vendors and food are. You have an opportunity to meet tons of people. I've seen a lot of hate online about GA for some reason this year. I don't agree with the hate. I see nothing wrong with GA. You're definitely roughing it a little bit but that's just because you're camping. That's what happens when you camp. I think this is a great option. So if you're worried about people like 
talking about how GA ain't it this year. I don't know what that's all about. Those are just annoying people online that you need to ignore that are just trying to put others down that don't want to spend the same money as them or can't spend the same money as them. So GA is the way to go. That's my opinion. They have a couple new camping options this year and now I'm gonna be talking about what I would call like a GA plus. This is what they call it at like EDC and some other festivals. It's an in-between between GA and a VIP wristband where you get a little bit more amenities and you pay a little bit more money. These GA plus type wristbands are still located in the GA campground, but you will get a couple extra amenities. So the first one is actually a new one, and this is Camp Good Times. They say that there is controlled access, so I don't know what they're doing. I guess this makes it a little bit more private, so regular GA can't wander over to where you are. It says you get a larger campsite. It doesn't specify how much larger, but it does say larger. And you get private air conditioned bathrooms and showers. These are $600. In my opinion, I don't know if this is necessarily worth it. It is an extra $225 just for flushable toilets and a little bit bigger of a space. One pro is that they are near the new location of the RVs, but they are farther away from the entrance than normal. Normally, if you purchase some sort of an ad on camping option it brings you closer to the entrance and this one is a little bit farther away than I would expect for something that you're paying extra money for my two least favorite parts of electric forest are having to use the porta potties and the heat and that totally alleviates one of those problems so it really depends if you think that is worth $225 the next GA plus type option is camp hush this is again access controlled so a little bit more private you get larger camping spaces again again these flushable air-conditioned bathrooms and private showers this is also six hundred dollars and this is a little bit farther back than good times but it is extremely close to the RVs so this option is obviously for people that want something a little bit quieter and want to be able to go back and sleep it's literally right next to the rvs if you know anything about electric force the rvs are where it's at at night like that is the after party spot out of anywhere in electric force even the vip areas in my opinion that like everyone is there and it's very loud very loud sound systems like djs that are playing electric forest and getting paid for electric forest or like renegade sets at the rvs they are on loud sound system so I don't know if it's a little bit farther than what it looks like on the map but I'm a little bit skeptical about how close it is to that and then not only that it looks even close to the back end of Sherwood Court it's a long walk from Sherwood Court it's like walking from 10 o'clock all the way to 12 o'clock counterclockwise but in reality the distance that sound has to travel is between 10 o'clock and midnight you know if you're someone that really likes their sleep maybe you don't drink or maybe you're a little bit older and still want to camp or want to be on a budget but you want to be able to get that sleep within the night this is a good option if you really want sleep and you have a hard time sleeping like I feel like 200 $50 has nothing on you getting a full night's sleep, but I'm curious to see how quiet it actually is. The next option is GA Maplewoods camping. So GA Maplewoods is definitely something that's highly sought after. I feel like this is something that's really hard to get. Last year, GA Maplewoods sold out during the loyalty on sale, so general on sale did not have a chance to get it. This is, again, another GA Plus type of option, and the reason that this is so popular is because it's one of the only areas at Electric Forest where you're covered by trees, and like I said earlier, one of the hardest parts about Electric Forest is how hot it gets in your tent by like 9 a.m. You're literally boiling, like I will sleep outside. I've had a friend, like literally sleep under the front part of his car to get shade because your tent will just like boil in the sun you'll it literally just turns into an oven so if you're staying up all night and coming back from the rvs and the sun's coming up you aren't sleeping this is an amazing option to alleviate some of the heat so with this you don't get car camping just because you are under trees so you can't really be like off-roading your car into this wooded area as you can see from like the maps that i'm putting up you get parking right along the edge of the trees. I don't think the Maplewoods forest area is all that big so it can only fit so many people. So it seems like you'll all be able to park right along the edge of this wooded area and then like hike your stuff into the wooded area. It doesn't seem like too far of a trek. I think you get to set up 
your campsite wherever you want in this area there's not like locked off areas just because it's hard with all the trees instead of having a grid like GA does it's just a free-for-all you also get the flushable toilets with AC the showers you even get a shaded lounge area only for Maplewoods nobody else can wander into the Maplewoods area if any of your friends have any other sort of VIP option though like anybody in good life or back 40 or frontier camping they can come visit you just not standard GA or any of the other GA plus options. This is $725. I honestly never thought it was worth it, but now that I'm thinking about it, it might be. This again is really close to the entrance so you are rewarded for paying that extra money. The shorter walk, the shade, unassigned camping spots, and then this year you're actually really close to the RV, so this kind of works out for people in Maple Woods. Moving on to GA effortless camping. So this is when you get a tent already set up for you. It fits two people and you can take everything that they give you home with you. It comes with one tent that I think has like electric force branding all over it. it comes with two sleeping bags and two sleeping pads. I think these pads are very thin, but still better than nothing. I don't even notice the difference between sleeping on the ground and sleeping on my air mattress now that I've slept on the ground, so I don't think it's that big of a deal when you're that tired. Again, you get those private bathrooms and showers that all these other almost VIP options have. This comes with two passes, so it seems really expensive when you first look at it. It's $1,300, but then when you divide that between two people, it ends up being $650. This is even cheaper than Maplewoods, and you get like a tent and some basic amenities all there and all set up for you so this is great if you are traveling from far and maybe are rolling through Thursday afternoon off a flight or something and don't have all the stuff that you need the only thing that I have to say about that is you might be able to purchase this stuff upon your arrival for cheaper or it's cheaper just to spend the extra $50 on another suitcase and put in a small tent in your suitcase a couple blankets and a pillow you can fit everything of that for 50 bucks and this is actually 275 more dollars than GA camping so they're pretty much charging you $500 for this tent and these pads if you're thinking about money it's definitely cheaper just to get the camping stuff yourself whether that be from home and bring it in an extra suitcase or you buy stuff from Walmart and do a store pickup and then it's all ready for you upon the arrival another thing to think about is that a lot of people that are taking advantage of this are probably going to be flying in and that's why they're choosing this option because they don't have room for camping supplies and now you're gonna have all this camping supplies supplies that you're allowed to bring home but still aren't gonna have room to bring home finally the last pro is that they definitely reward you for this by being very close to the entrance this is right on the edge of the maple woods area so you're right next to main street those are all the ga camping options and now we are moving on to the add-ons that you can purchase with a ga pass so the first one is wednesday early arrival anyone can purchase this arrival pass but be careful if you're considering doing in good life there is a GA arrival pass and a good life arrival pass that are two separate things so make sure you're purchasing the one that says GA I would be ready to purchase this at ticket sales because you can purchase it but you might as well get it over with this way you can add it onto your payment plan because you can only use a payment plan if you're spending a hundred dollars or more and the Wednesday arrival pass is $60 so if you purchase a loan you won't be able to include it in your payment plan I don't think that early arrival passes have ever sold out I don't think that there is a limit that they will sell but you have an option of purchasing when tickets go on sale. Be aware that you need one pass per car and not per person. So if there's four people in your car, you're looking at less than $20 a person to go in a whole day early. Do not buy four different passes, whatever you do. This gets you in at noon. So this is a whole 12 hours before everyone else. You can actually set up your camp in the sunlight rather than at midnight that night. And you can actually use that night to have fun. Head over to the RVs. There's definitely going to be stuff going on over there. There are some vendors and food options open so you definitely can like take advantage and get a whole view of Main Street before the festival starts so you can spend all that festival time in the venue. I've never done Wednesday early arrival but I actually really want to try it. My friends have had so much fun doing early arrival. They say it's a lot less stressful and tiring on the first day to not have to set up either in the middle of the night between Wednesday and Thursday or set up 
camp Thursday morning and then have to go straight into the festival. The next add-on is new and this is Tuesday early arrival and you can only do this if you purchase a GA wristband, not for any of these GA plus type options. So you cannot do Tuesday early arrival if you are bringing an RV. You cannot do this with Maplewoods, Camp Hush, Camp Good Times, or Effortless Camping. It's only standard GA. I'm not entirely sure why. Doesn't really fully make sense to me, but that's just what it is. So this is $75 per car. Again, not per person. This is only $15 more than the Wednesday arrival pass, so you each are paying a couple dollars more and get a whole extra day. There will be no festival events planned while there are a couple things like bingo at the Brainery for Wednesday early arrival on Wednesday night. There are a couple official pre-party kind of things going on on Wednesday. There will be nothing planned on Tuesday, but that does not mean you can't make your own fun. There will be food, obviously showers and bathrooms are gonna be open. Some of the vendors will be open. The only thing is, normally on Wednesday arrival, the thing to do is go to the RVs where the RV parties are, but since the RVs are not allowed to be let in, you'll really be partying at your campsites. You do not need to buy a Tuesday arrival pass and a Wednesday arrival pass. Only buy one or the other, and it either comes with one day or two days. Moving on to the vehicle add-ons now that we are done with the arrival day add-ons So you have to buy an add-on if you are arriving alone if there's one person in your car They're charging you pretty much for adding to the traffic and for not being environmentally friendly You have to get this add-on if you are arriving solo whether you're arriving Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday Once again, there are a couple different options depending on if you get GA or VIP So make sure that you're buying the GA a single car occupant pass. You can still park at your campsite or at your group camping spot. There's not like a parking lot or anything for people that arrive alone, but you do just have to pay this $125 fee. This video is literally so long. I thought it was gonna be so much shorter than this. So now moving on to the RV add-ons. If you wanna bring an RV, you still buy your regular GA pass, but then one person buys the RV pass as well. Again, this is by vehicle and not per person. You're actually allowed to bring in one companion car. You have to both be driving in at the same time for this car that's following to be able to park at your campsite. You can't bring as many cars that can fit in your area. You're only allowed one. I don't know how much they actually enforce this, but that's what it says. They say you cannot buy a RV pass just to get a large camping spot. So this is kind of be like a loophole. Like maybe if you didn't get group camping, you buy an RV pass. You are not allowed to do that. You have to have an RV to be able to use that spot. Each RV comes with complimentary pump and dump and um, water refills. The add-on pass is $300, but again, you're splitting that with your whole group. So it can become really cheap, really fast. Like I said, normally the RV has a really amazing spot by the entrance but this year the RVs have moved towards the back, towards a wooded area. The RVs is really where all the after parties are at, like I said, so if you're interested in throwing those parties or just being really close to them, this is a great option and it's a lot cheaper if one of your friends already has one or even looking into renting one with a ton of people, like honestly isn't that bad. The next option is completely the same as the last one. It's an RV pass, but it comes with power. So everything is exactly the same, but you have, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but you have a 30 amp and 110 volt power hookup and it's $700 for this spot. So if you're throwing like the real deal parties, that um, that's what you're gonna need. The GA RV passes were sold out an hour and 10 minutes into the on sale, so definitely be ready if you want to purchase an RV pass. So finally, I'm gonna briefly talk about the GA add-on. You guys have no idea how often I say words that I completely don't mean. Like in one of my videos, I keep saying loyalty instead of VIP and it's so annoying. I meant group camping and not GA add-on. Like I said, I'm doing a whole other video on this that goes completely into detail on the whole process because I know it can be really confusing. But briefly, you cannot buy these now, so don't worry if you don't see them on the website. This will come later. Last year they were on sale mid-January and the year before they are on sale around the same time. This is for large groups that 
are 20 or more, there's a 20 person minimum to have one of these campsites. The best part about this is that your whole friend group will be together and you don't need to wait for each other to caravan in. That's been a problem with us when we're all coming from different areas and then we have to find a meeting spot, park and wait for each other and then drive in all together. We have to make sure the timing is just right now that me and my friends are flying, driving, taking the shuttles, it just would not work. We would not get the timing right to have enough room to get all of our camping stuff in one camping spot. So this is an amazing option I highly recommend. We are just guaranteed a huge spot of land that will definitely be enough space for you and your friends. It is $50 a person, and again, it's a 20 person minimum, but the more people you have, the bigger your spot is. You will also guaranteed a spot relatively close to the entrance. The group camping area has grown literally has doubled in size but I still think it's a great option and now a lot more people will be able to take advantage because it's sold out so fast last year finally the last add-on is purchasing a locker and anybody can purchase a locker this is a locker that's located inside the venue it is right between Tripoli, the first stage when you enter, and Ranch, which is like the main stage in the middle. You can buy a daily locker or you can buy the locker for the whole weekend. I purchased one my very first year and I think it was $45 for the whole weekend. There are not prices up right now. It's a small locker like this big. It definitely has enough room to put a blanket or like any Thing that you're probably going to be purchasing inside of the venue that you would want to stash there you can put your phone in there to charge it honestly i did not purchase a locker again because i just thought it was easier to buy a portable charger that had a lot of power behind it rather than having to go out of my way to walk over to the lockers every time I needed something from it. It was kind of stressful and just took way too much time. You can get portable chargers for so cheap these days. You can get one that has like five charges for like $30. I have now just invested in having two portable chargers so now I charge those completely and I can go away for a whole weekend and have more than enough energy left for my whole plane rides home and all that. So I don't know if it's necessarily worth it, but if you ever want to feel like you want things completely locked up, this is a good option. All right, that was so much longer than expected. Hopefully I can edit that down, holy crap. I was about to film this all with the VIP one and last second decided it should be split up, but I didn't think it needed to be split up like that. Hopefully this helped you if this is your first year at Electric Forest. Even if it's not, honestly, I didn't know almost anything about the VIP options because I am such a GA kind of girl. I never even looked into it because I was never interested, but there are so many great options if you're looking for an in-between. There's also some great VIP options that are not that much more expensive, maybe $100 more expensive, where you get a little bit more for not that much money. So definitely check out my VIP video if you're interested in any of these GA plus type options. They're pretty comparable. Like I said, please don't forget to subscribe because I'm pretty much an Electric Forest channel. Everything I know is about Electric Forest. So there's going to be ton more videos leading up to it. I cannot wait for Electric Forest Decade 1. I love how they're marketing it this year and I feel like this year is going to be so special and I could not be happier that I'm going this special year. I have my own playlist here on YouTube that's going to be linked down below with all of my electric forest related videos including vlogs and how to prepare funny ass get ready with me that needs to be watched more because my friends are so funny i also created a playlist with vibe with aid here on youtube you should check out her channel for more advice but also the playlist we created has a combination of videos between us and then some other videos from other creators that we thought were helpful please subscribe if you want to see the rest of electric forest week here on my channel you can follow me on twitter and instagram if you want to keep up with me on the daily. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.